Hey, I'm artist Liam Benson and welcome to my studio. I'm an interdisciplinary artist working in photography, textiles, performance. I do work with community uh, and it's all about having a conversation about who we are together, who are we amongst the community that we belong to and how do we all interact together. So I'm going to show you a couple of techniques uh, for working with beats and sequins that you can adapt and expand on within your making practice. And I hope that you can also find something really important to you to apply these skills to. Something that you'd really like to sit down and spend a lot of time thinking about and celebrating through your making process. Okay, so I'm going to teach you a couple of embroidery techniques today. Uh, one of them is going to be a bead and sequin combo, which you can use to fill in an area with um, a random pattern or colour. And also I'm going to teach you how to do a continuous line, which you can use uh, to create your patterns and define shapes. You can see the continuous line here that I've used to go around this central sequin and bead. And I've done a very similar design here using the bead and sequin combination. Okay, to start off with, uh, we're going to start with this technique, uh, which is basically anchoring a sequin to the fabric using a bead. Now to get started, we'll um, get our needle and thread about 40 centimeters doubled over. And I'm not going to tie a knot in the end. I'm actually just going to simply start by threading into the fabric and then straight up again. So catching about two millimeters or a millimeter with fabric. Pull your thread through. And we're going to do that three times. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat. This is just going to get our thread started. But we're gonna use this technique quite a lot in uh, by putting the needle through and then pushing it up again. So it's just a great way of not having to push your needle through and then go to the other side to pull it through. So you're simply pushing in and then pushing back up again. So let's sew some sequins. All right, so we're going to do maybe a blue design. And we're going to put our sequin on first, then our bead and take it all the way to the end. Then we're going to go back through but not through the bead. We're just going to go back through the sequin. Making sure your thread doesn't get tangled. And then we have our first sequin and bead anchored to the fabric. Okay. So from here, we can go in any direction. And I am going to put my next sequin and bead here. So again, putting your sequin on and I go cup up, but you can also go cup down if you want a different texture or look. All the way to the end. Then your bead. All the way to the end. And again, going back through, not the bead, but just the sequin. And we're going to use that technique that I showed you before where we're going to put our needle through and then we're going to push up in one movement. So we're not even having to look at the other side. This is a bit of an advanced technique. If you prefer to look at the other side and pull it through, that's fine. But this is just a nice and quick way of sewing your beads and sequins. Okay, so I'm going to fill in an area now and you'll see that I'll be able to move and thread in any direction. Okay, 
this way we're kind of filling in a section. So there we go, I was pulling that through and you can see the back here. And to finish off, we are just going to go to the back and the same way that we started, we're going to sew in one spot three times just to finish off our thread. So there you can see the stitch pattern there. This is another stitch pattern where I've just gone in any which direction and that's the great thing about this sort of crazy paving style is that you can fill in an area, move and sew in any direction um, and you can really combine different colours. It also gives you a really interesting texture with the beads on top of it as well. Okay so the next technique I'm going to show you is the continual line where we're not going to use beads, we're just going to be using sequins. Um, and as opposed to using a technique like this to fill in an area with color, lines are really great for defining your pattern, outlining things, or you know, showing off particular marks or shapes that you want to highlight. So I've drawn a guideline here just with a, a pencil. And to start off with, we are just going to sew into the one spot a couple of times. Doesn't have to be too perfect. All right. Trim off the tail if we want to. Okay, so we're gonna just pop our first sequin on, cup up so it's nice and shiny, or you can do a cup down, doesn't really matter. And then we are going to put our needle in, not quite on the line, but just next to the line. And we're gonna bring it up where the line is, really close to where the sequin is. Pull our thread. And as you can see, the next sequin is gonna go directly on that line. Next sequin, cup up. So the shiny side, all the way down. And then you just want to kind of like pull it here because your this sequin is covering the thread that is holding down this sequin. So again, just catching a couple of millimeters of the fabric. And again, you can see I went down next to the line, but I came up on the line. Now to finish off, we've got a couple of options. We can either just let the thread show, like I have here with these sequin lines, or you can finish off with your last sequin with a bead. Or another way you can do it is if you're continuing a line, you bring the line back in to meet your line. So you kind of get this seamless finish and that way you don't ever really see the thread 
But in this instance, it's not so bad that we see this red. Maybe we're gonna cover it later. So for now, let's just pop our needle through to the other side. And just finish it off in exactly the same way that we started. And there we have it, a continual line. Okay, so using this continual line sewing technique, you can create lots of different patterns. So here I've sewn onto a kind of brocade template and I've just followed the lines with these continual line sequence sewing technique. And then I've defined the pattern by just using different colors and then popping the occasional highlight bead. So using this technique here, the bead and sequin combination, here's a couple of different examples of what you can do with it. And then also, I've got this artwork of mine, which is from an installation a couple of years ago. And that's the technique that I've used here. I don't know if you can see the detail. 